Howdy, Beef Lombard here, and welcome another review for uh, free asset pack for the month of May 2019. Um, go into the marketplace, scroll down, free for the month. There are ten this month instead of five. We already reviewed the jetpack animation set and like it. The HQ residential house, meh, it's nice, but mm, usable. But this time we're going to look at the user interface kit. First off, it's going to load, and while it's loading, when you create a project with it, it's, it's going to ask you to create a project. Don't worry, you can migrate the stuff out, it's only 81 megabytes, it's easy enough to migrate. Um, However, it's going to hang at 45%. Some people were, were reviewing in the marketplace that uh, it was taking over a half an hour, and I didn't have that problem. It took maybe five minutes, and then, as you can see, I'm compiling shaders. Um, it was in the neighborhood of 7,000 um, shaders it needed to compile. For a user interface kit, that's a little excessive, but... It, it's only for the map that they're using in that for the demonstration. So while we're waiting on the, the remaining ones to do, let's take a look. We have a Blueprints folder, Prototype UI controller, Third Person Game Mode, Minimap Capture, um, Objectives, Action Bar, Get Your Mannequin, Materials, Showcase, demo room and so forth. Um, we'll take a look at some of these. Got audio, physical materials, and the audio folder. Okay. Blueprints. Okay. A little more once everything gets done compiling. But you see, after it gets done compiling all these shaders, we already see that lighting needs to be rebuilt. 302 unbuilt objects. Um, that's just an oversight by the developer. And to me, okay, about a five minute delay of it hanging up at 45%. Okay. Um, slight inconvenience. Having to compile all these shaders, another inconvenience. And the fact that um, the reflection capture and the lighting needs to be rebuilt. Um, directly from the market, that's uh, a definite down down point. Um, so, so far before we've even had a chance to take a look at it, we've had a five to seven minute wait for it to, uh, to actually load the project once we've created the project, and it's only 81 megabytes. So we had a delay because of it hanging at 45% for about five minutes, taking about seven minutes total to load the project. We then have to wait for it to compile almost 7,000 shaders. And then it's telling us that we need to rebuild the lighting because the lighting wasn't rebuilt by the developer before packaging the product to send to the marketplace. So that's three negatives so far. Hopefully, once we get done compiling all these shaders, we will find some redeeming qualities. The map is not in a maps folder, which is another negative. Not a major one, but it's still negative. Come on, another thousand more to go. I'm not really filled with confidence right now on everything so far. It's a free asset pack, but it hasn't always been free. Um, I don't know what the original price was, and I don't know what the original price is going to be at the end of this month, but with three negatives kicking right off the, the get-go uh, before we could even look at the project and walk around the map and take a look at things um, and find out what's actually usable and what's... You know, all this stuff right now is stuff that's making us wait before we can take a look at it. Um, much less to see what's actually usable and only a small percentage of what we're waiting for to load is actually going to be usable stuff because we're not going to use this map and this map is one of the things that's causing the hang-ups. If you're going to use the, uh, the stuff that's in this project or this asset then you're not going to use this map. 
It's just going to be for you to get ideas on how to use this stuff. So, just about done. And this map. Okay. Take it. That's going to be our player start. Can move through. Apparently, this must be the enemy. Example enemy three. All right, let's take a look. Let's hit play. And when I left click, it's shooting out. Click on myself, get an explosion on myself. I, we have a mini map, so we can see a little bit of what's going on on our mini map as we rotate. The mini map rotates. Okay, so let's walk in here. 2A, open spell book. Don't forget to drag spells to your action bar. Visit displays, open useful windows, move towards the next room. So, okay, there's that. So we'll see, okay, we can drag. That's our heal, AOE, mana regen, let's put that at number four, um, example spell be number three, fire, let's do number five, and fly number six. So one, two, Three, okay, interesting. Open mini map, okay. So that forces open a mini map instead of having a key bind for the mini map, which is easy to change around, I would assume. Velociraptor Coast, okay. So we can manually close that. Open talent tree. Interesting. And we'll close that. Open inventory. No idea what these are. Okay, interesting. So we're getting a spell attack, so we're actually have something going on right there. And he almost killed us. So we had number one key, and we can heal ourselves. Heal ourselves. To a certain point here. And we have mana, okay. So, or more or less, we have to await for that to regen. Okay. We have buttons down here. Don't appear to do anything. Well, let's check out the other rooms. What do you have here? Ask for support in the forums will answer ASAP. Watch the video for a complete tour of the UI toolkit. Rate us on the marketplace. It's interesting that the uh, the words are just popping up like that. Check the forum for support information on updates. Okay, so icons. See all these different icons? See how they're kind of moving in and out from the, the thing there. Collection of icons for prototyping needs. So you got weapons of different types, spells of different types. Okay, these are just like on cubes that are sliding in and out. Kind of nice.
What is in this room? Generic window. Okay. Another type of window. Compass. Interesting. Action bars. Connected to your current PC. No, oh, so that's actually showing my active action bars right here. So if I hit an icon, you can see that it's actually showing my cooldown. And it's just, yeah, okay. Objectives. Rotating minimap. And rectangular minimap. And this is the one that's currently on there, rotating minimap. Interesting. So you can zoom in and zoom out. All right. So this is just a, I guess, like for your health and mana and stamina, and little little mana bars and health bars and that kind of stuff. And this is a segmented version. This one in the upper left-hand corner. Here's our mana. Another type of non-segmented. And that's cool. So what else we got in here in the demonstration map to look at? Okay. Okay, so it's just changing the um the layouts. Okay. Kinda like this one. Alright, so that's just a walk around tour of this. No, I'm not gonna build lighting. Um it's got a series of widgets for talent tree, objectives, miscellaneous. Um, the thing is, when you're trying to use other people's stuff, blueprints, where is our actual character? Our mannequin, basic animation set, basic UE4 mannequin stuff. Third person game mode, action bars, and objective. Showcase blueprints, example character. Okay. Let's take a quick peek. Fit graph. Okay, so everything is more or less is nice, but um, again, anytime you do anything, especially if you're going to put it on the marketplace. How long does it take to actually put it in a comment box? Really? Left mouse button. I mean, semi-neat on the way things are laid out, but I'm just a little OCD about how blueprints should look, how they should be neatened up and things of that nature. Left mouse button. Bullet cost, current mana, yeah. So just select everything, hit the C key, and left mouse. Wasn't that hard, now was it? And that. There's only that in there. But begin play. And another little thing that annoys me, I don't know if it's a common problem for everybody, or if it's just, um, you know, me. And that is, I don't have, for some reason, go to edit, editor preferences, open location for assets, main window, and 
disable autosave. I want those to always be active on every friggin' project that I open. And we got this create inventory. We're just going to slide it off to the side here. And we're going to do set input to game only. And get player controller. Because I seriously cannot stand it whenever I go in there and I have. And it only happens in the editor, it doesn't happen if you're playing the game. It just happens this way. And then set show mouse cursor to false. But whenever I'm testing things, I want to jump in there and test it and be done with it. And what do we got here? Event tick. Okay, so event tick is nice, but you can actually get rid of event ticks. So if you don't have to use an event tick, don't. There are other ways of getting around that, like um, creating custom events and running a delay or things of that nature. And that crap's overlapping. That's not going to do. Let's see, event any damage. So, now this is just the bare minimum basics of organizing your blueprints. You can actually go back in and say, I'm not going to use touch input. So, I'm going to delete that. And. Gamepad input? I'm not using a gamepad. But when you're creating things like movement, come in here, go to your comment color, and let's select one. Let's go zero, zero, one, but it's actually lightened it up a little bit. And let's try to get it right here. So, movement. This is an input. This is an input. But they're also for movement, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. So our inputs will be blue. Begin play. Point seven five. That's an input. Event tick. As much as I hate them, we'll do that. Damage related stuff. I like red. So, very simple color system, so whenever you're... Oh, okay, I want something to do with damage. It's red. I know I can quickly go to that point of it. And then, honestly, you can come over here and organize them even more. All your... stuff related to the same topic is that. So this is just a pet peeve that, that bothers me about the way some people set up their blueprints and how unorganized it can be and how little it takes to actually just go ahead and clean things up and get organized in a, in a way that um, makes sense. So that is easy to look at, easy to read. You know what's what. Come on and save. So that's just a little pet peeve, but not a major thing here. Um, like I said, all of the the stuff that's in here, uh, implementation of using this stuff, 
Whew, that's a whole different story. Um, your compass widget. It's that. Um, that's the event graph. Just that. Event construct. Compass material. Create dynamic material instance. Um, it's creating that. It's not actually a full active widget that you could combine to a standalone. So you'd have to actually find. Okay, you got an action bar, action bar base, just a big X. Implementing this stuff, um, and here's the problem: whenever you're you're getting assets from other people, you end up having to go through and figure out how they do something or did something. And honestly speaking, I would probably not use any of this stuff here, um, any of their widgets or anything else. I would just use. Um, Uh, the materials, maybe the particles. The particles, these are actually f not bad, but they look like they're from something else. Props, not even worried about those. Textures. Um, I'm not actually sure what I would physically be using from this asset pack here because um, that's not all of it if you look at our texture folder in here these are what I would actually be using uh, the textures for the minimap sections and something like this you can feel free to experiment and, and do so with this um, you get all these different icons you can use for swords and weapons and spells and so forth to get you started um, the buttons definitely for sure the plus and minus button uh, we'll assume one's for up one's down uh, a couple different types of arrows uh, I would actually use this stuff more than anything else buttons for sure that's a cool thing Having the X button is a definite nice thing. Um, yeah, like I said, would I use this? Would I, I actively use it for what content's in here? So if I hit play again, um, yeah, I, I, I shit. I don't like how their character's set up. So, let's take this stuff out. Because of the way they got their character set up, using a visible crosshair. and having a right click to move your your view around because if, if you move left and right you're just moving left and right you're not a, you're not moving your camera around the camera is set up on the right mouse button also on the left mouse button but you seem to be firing whenever that happens I was able to kick his ass without even going into the room and triggering him from doing that. So there's some a lot of little things you can take from this that will be nice, but um, honestly, it would just be easier for you to to build your own and use these as reference materials uh, for learning how somebody else did it. Um, honestly, like progress bars like this right here, um, you can actually. Use textures, action bars, buttons, gradient bars, and you've got yeah. uh, 
I do it a, a totally different way. Buttons, gradient bars, icons, miscellaneous. Well, there's a lot of little things you can pull from it, the individual parts. You find stuff that you want to use in another project, and you can either go about it by um, trying to do the migrate method, which will work. Um, another thing you could do is actually go into the actual project. And let's see here. Project is User Interface Kit. So if you go into you know, wherever you have your project stored, get your user interface kit. They include their own little icon there, that's cool. Um, content UI kit, textures, and I would probably just take this and right click on it, and you know, you could create a, um, a zip file of it or whatever, and this is the main portion that I would be looking at using. Just manually copy those out and then whenever you want to put them into another project wherever you have those items saved or you can just go into this folder here and okay we got texture folder if I want to add this to um, this project right here go into my content folder and assets textures and or whatever and I could just grab the contents of this folder and do this right click drag drop and copy here and bang no problem you could also do this way you could right click and copy and then right click and paste and copy and paste into there. Either way you want to do it, um, you can just rip those parts out that you can use, like the action bars, you know, the, the texture folder is probably the only thing that I would use in here. Windows, um, and then would end up making my own uh, mini-map. Because if you try to make their stuff work, first off, you have to create a new project anyway. And if you go through and right click migrate and then save selected or whatever and go through the process of migrating over to another project you're moving this entire folder over and uh, yeah you could but like I said myself I would just go for the textures um, maybe the materials folder. Yes, yeah, so here's the materials for the gradient bars. Yeah, whatever you want. Um, honestly, if I had to pay for this, I probably wouldn't. Um, just because, honestly, all I would want is just the textures out of it. So. Yeah, does it look nice? Yeah, it does. But it's free, so what do you want? I, I do like the mini-map, so I would definitely recommend, you see the one that's on the wall is imitating the one that we're currently using. We can see there's a yellow dot here and a red dot there. So we come over here, follow that. The yellow dot is what exactly? Let's zoom in. Guess the yellow dot's supposed to be me now. But as soon as I walk into this room, home cheese here is going to come after me. Yeah, the minimap, I would, you know, get it while it's free. Um, and then go in here and pick it apart, learn from it. I'd say probably the best bet to do is just to take it apart and, and learn from it. Um, action bars, objectives, yeah. Eh. 
As a learning tool, yes. As a place to get some pre-made textures and materials for using for your own um, configuration for your action bars, then yeah, no problem. And in fact, what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to close this up for one, and I will take a few minutes and I'll come back and I'll do another stream really quickly tonight, and we'll do on setting up um, a simple action bar for health. Um, you could use it for stamina, you could use it for whatever, but I'll use health as an example. So, Alright, thanks for watching, and draw your own conclusions, but for me, for free, yes. Uh, paid, I don't think I would. Alright, thanks for watching.